As environmental crews work to clean up the mess left behind by a train derailment, federal safety officials are reviewing video and checking maintenance records to try to find out what caused the deadly accident in this historic city, located about 15 miles outside Baltimore. We'll be looking at uh, the signals and communications. We'll be looking at the operations. We'll be looking at track. There's a mechanical person here that I brought with me to look at the equipment itself. The derailment, which happened late Monday night, left two 19-year-old women dead. Their bodies were found buried under coal dumped from the train cars. County police say the college students were sitting on this bridge with their backs to the tracks when the train passed behind them. Residents say it's pretty common for people to hang out on the bridge, which overlooks a picturesque downtown. Thinking that they're just going to have some fun. I'm sure they didn't know that it would be, you know... The, the National Transportation Safety Board says the crew didn't see or feel anything unusual before the crash. So far, investigators have determined the train's emergency brakes were applied automatically. But it could be several weeks before they know exactly why the train jumped the tracks and how the women sitting on the bridge died. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.